Welcome you all to my YouTube channel. My name is Edwin Wallace. Could you figure out the solution? You have two circles, a bigger circle and a smaller circle touching each other. And it is intersected by what? A rectangle. The area of the rectangle is provided. The radius of the smaller circle is also provided. You, you are supposed to find the radius of the bigger circle. Can you figure out the solution? Just pause the video for some time and give it a try. So we know that the radius of a circle is from the center of the circle to any point of the circumference. So if I draw this line segment here, the radius of the bigger circle, which is R1, is up to this end because the radius is the radius of a circle is from the center to any point of the circumference. The same applies to the smaller circle. So the radius is from K to this point of intersection. Now we can represent it to what R1 plus R2. We can represent this line segment AC by what X. And now what about CK? CK, we know that the radius of the small of the bigger circle is R1. The radius of the smaller circles also what R1, R2. So we are looking for what CK. So R1 minus R2 will give you this, this distance. And we know that uh, this, is nine, this angle is 90 degrees. So we are going to use Pythagoras theory. So we are going to use the area of the rectangle and also Pythagoras theory to solve this question. So R1 minus R2 is the distance that is what CK. We know that the area of the rectangle is what? It will be X times what? R1. So it will go X times R1 is equal to two, four, three. Then from there, using Pythagoras theory, we are going to get R1 plus R2 square is equal to X square plus into bracket R1 minus R2 all square. From here, we will, we will expand the bracket of both, of both sides. We are going to get R1 square plus 2R1 R2 plus R2 square is equal to X, X2 S square plus R1 square minus R1 R2 plus R2 square. So from here, we see that we have R2 square here, R2 square here. And also, we can see that we also have R1 square here, and also we have R1 square here. So we subtract both sides of the equation by R1 square and also R2 square. So you are going to get 2R1 R2 is equal to S square minus 2R1 R R2. Now, we are going to add both sides of the equation by, by what R1, 2R1 R2. Then we are going to get what? 4R1 R2 is equal to what? X squared. Now from here, we can make X the subject from, uh, from this equation. Then we can insert it in this, this equation for us to get the remaining value. Okay. So we make as a subject, we are going to get 2, 4, 3 divided by what? R1. But we also know that R2 is 6 from the question. So we are going to get 4R1, R2 is equal to S squared. So we are going to put in the value of X here. We are going to get 2, 4, 3 divided by what R1 all squared. And we, also, we already know that uh, R2 is what? 6. So 4 times 6 is 24. Now we are going to we are going to expand this bracket. We are going to get what? 59049 uh, divided by R1 squared. We multiply both sides of the equation by what? R1 squared. We are going to get 24R1 cubed is equal to 59049. 
from here we divide through by what uh, 24 we are going to get r1 r1 cube is equal to 49049 divided by what 24 so r1 cube is equal to what 2460.375 now we take the cube root of both sides and we are going to get what r1 is equal to what, 27 divided by 2 which is the same as what 13.5 so the radius of the bigger circle is 13.5 centimeters i hope you got it correct thank you for watching and always you can subscribe to my youtube channel for more educative videos